Hey beer enthusiasts, welcome back to Mr. Tasters. Here we are at Tin House Brewing in Port Coquitlam. It is a suburb of Vancouver. So one thing about Tin House is uh, that there is not enough parking. So if you see here, if you approach the brewery where Google takes you, you'll find that there are most of the parking spaces reserved for other folks or other businesses here. But for Tin House, there are hardly four or five uh, spots and this food truck takes in one of those spots. So parking is a bit tight. So I'm gonna walk over to Tin House and I'll show you how the place looks from outside, also from inside, and then we're gonna order a flight of beers. So hang on tight. So here we are at the, uh, Tin House Brewing Company. There is a place from outside, nice tents. So whenever Vancouver weather permits, you can just sit outdoors and enjoy a cold one. Also, there is a, a nice trail here, so you can go for a walk or bike around after having your beers or even better, have them before you come to this brewery. So far, the place looks good from outside. Their menu also seems to be quite uh, interesting. So let's give this a shot, see how we like it. So stay tuned. Here is our first beer of flights from Tin House Brewing Company. This is a Saison beer. Uh, the real name is Run of the Mill Peppercorn Saison beer. Uh, it stands at 6% IBU, uh, sorry, 6% ABV and 30 IBU. Um, and let's, uh, if you look at the color, uh, it is dark cold, dark golden, kind of on the hazier side, but still it's an attractive golden color. So let's smell this one. Yeah, as with any saison beer, you can smell the apple or peach, uh, sorry, apple or pear uh, notes in it. Also, it smells a bit malty. It's good. It's really good. So, as I said, you can smell, you can also feel the taste of that, get the taste of that apple or pear, and along with some citrus notes. Um, there is a little bit of taste of the peppercorns in it, so it's not overtly spicy. Uh, the taste is really refreshing. I'm not a saison guy, but I still, uh, I still really like this one. Uh, the flavor pro profile seems a bit complex because there are a lot of things going on, like apple, pear, probably even citrus, because that's how it tastes like. But overall, the combination is uh, very good and definitely a thumbs up. Uh, this is 9 on 10. Cheers. The next one that we're gonna try is the brown ale. No surprise, it is brown in color, more like mahogany color. Uh, but still, uh, I feel that it is a very attractive color. Usually, brown brown ales don't have this dark of a color. So I really want you to take a look at this real close. Very attractive. We can smell. Uh, toffee in this and also a mix of coffee in it. It's a pleasant surprise. This one stands at uh, I think 6% IBU, uh, ABV and 45 IBU. So I was kind of hesitant on getting this one because 45 IBU is uh, a bit on the higher side for me. But still, this doesn't feel that bitter. They have balanced the bitterness really well with the other flavors, the other complex flavors that go that go on with a brown ale. So the toffee notes or the coffee notes that you have over here, along with the malt bitterness, malt and hop bitterness, is really well balanced. And uh, I'm gonna rate it a, a, a good eight on ten for this one. Cheers. Up is a tool belt lager so if you look at this it's like a typical lager it's light golden in color almost a see-through uh, uh, color in it 
very light golden and usually I love lager so uh, I would be surprised if I don't like this one. Crisp, refreshing, awesome, very good beer. A little bit on the tangier side but not too much tangy. You can uh, get a little bit of the burnt notes but again not overpowering. Very good beer for a, a nice sunny day. Definitely an iron time. Cheers. So the last one that we have is an Italian Pilsner. It stands at 15 IBU and 5% ABV. I'm very excited to try this one because it's not very often that we get Italian beers over here. So like Bira Moretti used to be my very favorite beer, but we don't get that uh, here in Vancouver, or at least I have not seen it in many of the liquor stores that I've been. <clears throat> so about the color, it's a light golden color. Uh, I don't see any carbonation happening over here. It, it tastes, it, it smells amazing. Uh, you can smell that hoppiness, that bitterness in it. Yeah, and when you drink it, you definitely get a feel for that, those, those hops and it is very well balanced. Uh, the bitterness, the crispness, the, the fizz in it, everything is very well balanced. I'm gonna give it a 10 on 10. Cheers. So this was it guys at Tin House Brewing. <clears throat> so it's a good place uh, to enjoy some beers. I wouldn't say it's like the best place in Port Coquitlam to go for your beer cravings. If you want to find out the best place in Port Coquitlam for that, check out my review of Rewind Brewing that will be posting in a few days from now. So as far as this particular place goes, the beer that I would definitely recommend is an Italian Pilsner and that is also because I am kind of biased towards Italian beers anyway, Bira Moretti being the one. As far as the parking goes, I already told you at the start of the event, uh, start of the video, uh, how, this, how, the, uh, how, how it works out over here. As far as the events go, they do have uh, a 5k run happening here very soon. So the play, the event starts and ends at here, uh, ends at Tin House Brewing. It's five dollars per person. Also, they have uh, uh, a lucky draw that goes on every month. So every a winner gets twenty five dollars or something. Uh, the other thing is that this place features on BC Ale Trail. If you don't know what BC Ale Trail is, just Google it up. But it's like uh, a trail where there are a lot of craft uh, craft beers. But don't think of a trail like where you can just walk or bike it's a pretty huge ale trail so <clears throat> a lot of breweries that are a part of it the other thing is that if you have kids definitely you can bring them over here as long as they are under adult supervision they can come to this place and food so they have some food options over here you get a pizza you have chips you have beef jerky and i believe you cannot get outside food over here just because they are they offer at least some kind of food options over here uh, as far as the rotating tap goes they do have guest taps here i didn't go for that because i wanted to try their own beers they have that plus they also have some wine options and the price so the flight cost 10 bucks <coughs> a flight which is which is very normal over here so not too bad and that's about it about this place so I would give this place an average rating. I don't really find this to be uh, a place that I would say that if you are in Port Coquitlam, you must go to this place. Definitely not like that, but hey, it's not bad either. So if you are in this area and you have some beer craving and you don't want to have your regular beers, then just come here. You will still have a good time. I'm just, I'm just my, my aim here is to just give you the best beer places in every small town or city that I go to. And that's the reason this does not cut back but it is still a very good place to go to so thanks for supporting us let me know if there are any breweries in vancouver or seattle area that you want me to visit and i will definitely go there and try to have some flights also if you like some beers here in tin house let me know in the comment section and if i come here again i'll definitely give them a shot thank you and see you again on mr taster